Hi everyone, welcome back to TGR That's Gaming Robbo. Now today guys, we're doing something totally different for each and every one of you. Today, I'm actually doing some... What? What? What's that? Little blue swirly thing. It's like... Whoa! Sorry guys, I don't know what's happened. I seem to have landed outside somewhere. God, what the hell was that? Well, I'm just going to go back inside and see what's happened. Come back to you in a minute. Is it on? Lights on. Oh, it looks like it's not damaged. Um, guys, guys, TGR, that's Gaming Robo, I'm back. I, I don't know what the hell happened. This thing was in my kitchen. It threw me outside, along with the laptop. Don't know what the hell happened. I mean, we're, all, we're okay. It's nothing to worry about. I mean, it's still shut. Right, I've just turned my phone on to my calendars. It shows us that date. Can't really be that date, surely. That's 19 years ago. What's so important? What happened 19 years ago? I don't understand. Sky Sports News. That looked quite retro. Let's have a look at that. What, what's it going on about? Hello, welcome back to Channel 8000 News. I am your anchor, Don Giovanni. Now today in football, Sir Alex Ferguson has retired from managing Manchester United. Today marked his last ever managerial game. So as you can see, Manchester United will be searching for a new manager to take the reins at Old Trafford. Hey Rob. Do you just look at me and say my name? The only way you're going to get sent back home, back to your future, is if you take the challenge of managing Manchester United. And once you've won the league, the cup, the FA Cup, we then want you to go and manage England to win the World Cup, to win the Euro Championships. This won't stop until you do this. I've been sent back in time to manage Manchester United and England and I can't get sent back home. Not until I've done that. Apart from that guys, I hope you have a lovely evening and come back to us at 9 o'clock for more news here at Channel 8000 News. I am your anchor, Don Giovanni. Thank you very much. I'm sorry guys, I'm just trying to get my head around this at the moment. The only reasonable explanation is that either I'm sleeping at the moment, or I've hit my head too hard. I mean, all this is, it's not real. You know, I, I haven't been sent back in time. It doesn't make sense. It... Manchester number. Hello. Yes, yeah, speaking. Back in one sec, guys. Guys, you're not going to believe this. Um, I'm going to have to go right now, but I will be back. I promise you. I've just got a Skype interview shortly with 
Sir Alex Ferguson and Martin Edwards. I don't know if this is a joke or not, but I'm going to go to the Skype and uh, see what happens. So I'll, I will come back and let you know what's what's gone on from there. Three days later. Hello and welcome to Channel 8000 News. I am your anchor, Don Giovanni. Manchester United have signed the new manager, TGR, that's Gaming Robbo. He takes charge of Manchester United as effect of immediately. His first game in action is a friendly against Dortmund away from home. He takes charge of Manchester United and he's also said that he wants to be the first manager to win every trophy possible within one season. Can he do it? Let's find out. Hi TGR fans. <clears throat> As you can see, I went to my interview with Sir Alex Ferguson and Martin Edwards. I have managed to become the new Manchester United manager. Now, I don't know if you saw it in the news, but I made a special clause in there that I wanted to have a one year contract, obviously with the option of an extra year. But I wanted to get everything that I needed to get done for Manchester United in one year. So then I can go on to hopefully become the England manager as soon as possible to then hopefully win the World Cup, to then hopefully win the Euro Championships. But I'll tell you this, I still don't understand what on earth has happened. I don't understand why I've been thrown back in time. I don't understand it whatsoever. So listen guys, so the first match, as you heard in the news, if you did listen to the news anyway, is that we will be facing Dortmund in a pre-season friendly as our first game of the season. I will be looking to bring in new players in. I will be looking to try and take full advantage of the players that I know who do well in the Premiership. So all I can say is guys, make sure you do subscribe to our channel. Make sure you do smash a like on the video. Make sure you do interact with me because I'm in this for a long haul right now. I mean, I had to go out and buy a suit just so I can impress on being a manager. Okay. But guys, like I said, this is going to be a full YouTube season. Okay. Now, if I don't do it within the first season, I've got to keep doing it until I do all the competitions that I need to do to, to, to complete the task, so to speak. So guys, sit back, relax, open a can and enjoy the ride. With TGR, that's Gaming Robo. And one more thing, stay safe and subscribe. Right, so we're starting off the match, guys. Here we go. Boring, boring first half and second half. So it's nil nil. We did finish, and we didn't have that many attempts. I think we are going to need another couple of friendlies. Man United versus IFK Gothenburg. Van Nistelrooy. Man United needs to pick up a little bit. We brought on some of our youth play Jonas London. We need to be winning these these games to build up our Yorkie to boost our morale. I picked major clubs rather than lower league clubs, but two one, two one. First win. Manu versus Bromby, our last friendly. Last friendly until we start the Charity Shield against Liverpool. Oh, bit of a slow start. Slow start. No! 
car. Come on for Nicky Butt. Chadwick, come on for Juan Sebastian. Nope. For Giggsy. York will come on for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. We're going to bring on Gary Neville on as well for Laurent Blanc. Second half, we need to be, we need to be Rude Van Nistelrooy, really, really. Why, why are you doing stupid challenges? To Madeira, to Madeira, to Madeira. Our new signing. Nielsen, Nielsen, no. That. Hello, welcome to Channel 8000 News. I am your anchor, Don Giovanni. Manchester United have signed Mark Kerr, Teribo West and Maxim Saigalko. The fans are excited at the prospect of Teribo West, but they are still wondering what is their identity. The Manchester United manager has said that they need time to gel together and that they still need one more player. In other news, today is the Charity Shield Day and Robbie Fowler is to miss this season's opener with a groin strain and Liverpool manager says he is expected to be out for up to five weeks. This is the Channel 8000 News. I am your anchor Don Giovanni. See you later. Manchester United versus Liverpool in the Charity Shield. Maxim Zygalko in the first minute, 1-0, no. Sammy Upia with a penalty in four minutes. We've got a new makeshift team in Manchester United, 2-1 to Liverpool. Christ, no, 3-1. Two. Disgraceful! Come on! We've had three shots. Sebastian Veron, come on for Kennedy. Poca can come on for Kerr. Come on, one more, one more, come on. Come on, 90th minute, come on. <sighs> disgusting, disgusting. Absolutely abysmal today, absolutely abysmal. We come into this match today not as underdogs. We didn't come into this match today as favourites. We come into this match today to show to everyone that we were ready, we were willing, we were wanting to win this. But instead, we're leaving with runners-up medals, which I've given mine to the fan straight after the game. It's like, what's the point? We've got a lot of work to do. And... I think there's going to be a lot of players which, when they come into training tomorrow morning, they're going to be thinking, I'm either going to get a rattling from a boss or I'm up for a transfer list. They need to think that because I am absolutely disgusted with that result here today. And I think everyone else who came and watched us and paid their hard-earned money to come and watch us play and play like that, each and every fan that came today deserves their money back. And that's something we'll have to discuss with the board today. But apart from that, well done to Liverpool. They deserved it. We didn't. And uh, we'll just have to make sure that we're ready for our first game.
game against Sunderland, uh, first Premier League match, so we'll be ready for it. We'll be ready. First game of the Premiership season, we're away to Sunderland. Oh, United, what are you doing? Come on! Stop crying out loud! Fuck no! Three one, wow, come on. Oh absolutely shocking. Absolutely shocking. Absolutely piss poor. Piss poor. First game at Old Trafford in the Premier League. Has to be against Chelsea, doesn't it? Maxim Psychalco, 1 0, 1 0 to United. No! Oh. We need to be making a sub ref, come on. No! Fucking, fucking useless. 1 1. White Art Lane. No! Oh. Madeira! Yes! Yes! Now centre mid and Roy Keane's now drops back into defensive midfield. Oh my god! What on earth? Hi guys, this is episode 1 of Lost in Time with TGR, that's Gaming Robbo. So, as you can see, we are struggling at the moment to try and pick up a win, <laughs> literally. So, what we're going to be doing uh, in the second episode, we're going to be changing some things up. China, maybe do a new formation, new tactics, etc. Just to see whether or not if we can actually try and move forward with what we're doing because obviously what we're doing at the moment it is not working okay so like i said episode two that will be out next week so make sure that you do catch up with it and if you haven't done so already guys please make sure that you have subscribed to this channel tgr that's gaming robo is the only place on youtube that is doing lost in time with championship manager 0102 stay tuned for episode two guys i'll see you next week take care